Hey, and welcome to Think Creative TV, your place to find out all about how to use your iPad for learning and teaching. Hopefully you can get some great ideas for what you can do in your classroom, and I'd love it if you could click subscribe and get the latest videos straight to your inbox. So let's get going. So let's take a look at how you can put together your own Memoji presentation. So as if you're actually on stage, if you're putting together something for a virtual presentation, you can make it look like you're actually in the room. Um, and it's really, really easy to put this together. So all we've created here is we've got some shapes which make it look like there's a podium. Um, I've got a countdown clock here, which you can see a video on how to make that. Uh, you know, if you look at some of the other videos in the YouTube channel, you don't need to have that on the screen. It's just a touch. And if you're an ADE, I'm sure that brings absolute fear to you in having that clock on the screen. Then I've just taken a uh, part of my Memoji um, and just cropped off my head. And again, you know, there's a there's a great how to video here that you can take a look at. And then I've just recorded a video of me so that it looks like I'm moving. So she, you know, looks like I'm actually presenting. And then all I would do on the other side of the screen here is just place my presentation in this uh, space here. Um, simple enough, just, you know, have a video and we'll talk about how to put this all together in a second. I'll do the full build. So that's what we're going to create. So let's have a look at how we put that together. I'm going to start a blank screen here. I'm going to remake that podium. So just put a block in place around here. And I'm just going to change that gradient fill to just basically what's already in place, just so it stands out a little bit. And then I'm just going to add just another box above where the timer could sit. And I've made this timer in Keynote as well. This is just a, a three minute countdown timer. Again, you can you know, you can make this uh, as long as you want it to be. You don't have to have a timer there at all. I just, you know, I want it as a as little kind of reminiscent ADE element to this. And then the final two pieces that I want to put into the podium element here is the, the Memoji, okay? So this element here of me talking. So it's going to go in, in in a couple of ways. The first way is I'm going to go to my Messages app. So if I open this up, tap on the pictures, and I'm going to find this picture of me as the Memoji. And I'm just simply going to send this to myself. And there's a video here that you can check out on how to do that. So I'm just going to choose that, tap Send, tap and hold so it comes clear of the screen keep hold of it open keynote and then drop it onto the screen and then as i showed before i want to get rid of the head um, behind it but i want to keep the the uh, front of the mac and my shoulders here so i'm just going to edit that out by double tapping and then cropping that down to the top and i'm going to place that uh, on the podium and i'll play around with the uh, the layering of this in just a second. And then the second thing I'm going to do is I want to also have a Memoji of me talking. Okay, so I want the video. I don't want it to be static. I want it as the video. Now, I'm, to do this, I'm just going to go to the Memoji recording frame. I'm just going to knock talk for, for like 10 seconds, but I'm just going to move my head around as if I'm actually talking. Okay, so you'll, you'll get the idea as we're doing this. So there we go, so I've just kind of recorded a Memoji without any talk. And again, I'm just gonna send that to myself. So it's just gonna create that as a link. I'm gonna tap and hold. It's gonna give it me as that clear background and then drop it on the page. And then I can just place this. And I'm just gonna layer these then just to arrange that all the way to the back. Arrange the Mac to the back. And there we go, there's me on my podium and I can just play that. And it's just really, it's my head moving. Um, it looks like I'm presenting. And then the final thing to add in, uh, I'm just going to create a bit of a you know board behind me. This could be where the video screen is playing. And then all I would do is add my presentation over the top of this. So let's imagine that this is my presentation. So I've recorded one a little bit earlier, complete with a screen record, etc. So I've recorded my presentation. If I go in and just find this, on my videos, uh, where is it gone? Here we go. I'm gonna tap use on that. 
So this is me kind of making a video about how to make this video. So I'm just going to shrink that up as if it's on the screen in the background. There we go. And now I just want to make sure that the video here plays at the same time as this. But I also have only recorded this for about 10 seconds. So I'm going to select it. Tap on the paintbrush. Go to movie and loop it. So it's just going to continue to play. And then I'm just going to make sure I go to animate in the transitions. I'm going to start the movie, but I also want this movie to start and I want the countdown timer to start at the same time. So we're just going to go with build one and with build one. And now when I tap play on this, oops, the countdown timer is going to start. There's me looking like I'm talking. But at the same time, my presentation is also playing through as well. You can see that the countdown timer is moving here. And in time, this screen is going to start to change. So it's you presenting. And I know this is kind of like that surreal moment of me presenting about me presenting. Um, but anything can go into this space here. So any presentation that you put together as just an audio recording. And then it kind of looks over here like you're talking about it. And because I've looped it, it's just going to keep playing over and over. And the countdown timer is going to keep going all the way down to zero. So there we go, that's how to simply make your own presentation. The last thing you need to do is tap on the three dots, tap export, choose movie, and you can export this as a movie that you can then send or play as a presentation, send into conferences that you might be presenting at, or share it with your students if you've created a simple presentation you want to share with them and you want it to be a little bit more engaging than just the screen that they see. So there we go, have a go.